When I was at home having dinner with my wife, who's a pediatrician, Jane, and she said, you know, Brett, kids that get antibiotics the first year of life, they have higher rates of asthma. I said, what? You know, that doesn't make sense. Gut microbes. So then, you know, being a good husband, I didn't believe her, and I went to the scientific literature and looked it up, and of course, wives are always right, and it turns out the, that, yes, indeed, there was these smoking guns to indicate that gut microbes might affect asthma. So ours was the first study um, where we followed some children uh, from BC Children's Hospital. Hospital, um, where we confirmed that changes in early life that affect the gut microbiome can contribute to asthma development in children. We looked hard at the bacteria that are in the intestines of children, and we compared those between children at very high risk of having asthma and children who had no trouble with asthma. And what we found were the children at very high risk of asthma had low levels of four bacteria that we nicknamed flavor. There's a few important implications with this work. First of all, these four bugs can be potentially used as biomarkers of asthma. We can later determine a risk of someone's, uh, someone's risk to develop asthma based on the abundance of these four bugs. And uh, later we can think of uh, the therapeutic potential of these four bugs given to babies that are determined to be at risk of asthma.